places if you might, but really, they're all the right places. They're all the right places. Be that's beautiful. <laughs> We're looking at the wrong places, and we do not realize it, but at the same time, if we were to see for a moment, they are the right places. Because even the fear that we fear, that we want to get rid of, can lead us back to love. You see? Because all it is, is a need for love. Or the frustration of love. So even if we, if we are able to allow ourselves to be loved in our searching and longing, uh -huh. That's the river that carries us without us having to Right, grow. right. <coughs> so what if you were to say now that all the faults and all the mistakes I made and all the oh, whatever I think of myself is really okay mm -hmm. and I don't care anymore. No matter, no matter what I think, no matter what goes through my mind, I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. Now what if you say that and mean it? You see? Wipes you clean. Yes, you become clean and pure. You don't have to be, to be pure. All you have to do is accept the impure. You see? Without fighting it, without contracting it, without trying to overcome it, and without making yourself wrong. You see? And that very allowing itself, the very being itself, brings you back to balance. Yeah. And that's how a pure mind is attained through innocence, not fighting, not resisting, not contracting. See, all the time we're contracting because we're afraid of the Beloved. You know that, right? Because the Beloved cannot be seen, cannot be felt, you know, with a touch. It is, it is space, it is nothingness, it is emptiness. So it, it's, it scares the living daylights out of us because we think we're plunging into the unknown. Um, what is interesting um, in um, quantum, quantum physics says that, that in a space that small, there is more energy in space than the whole material universe itself. More energy in the known universe than the known material universe. So, so this means that what we think emptiness with our mind is not empty at all. <laughs> It's fullness, you see? So when we allow ourselves to die, that is ego-wise, we are entering fullness. But it scares us because we're afraid of what we think. We're afraid of going into emptiness because we think that emptiness is a void, it's an abyss. We're going to be lost. But it's the other way around. Jesus said, you know, um, to die to yourself is to find yourself. You see, that is the, the paradox. So, 